This video is part of an ongoing series of videos focused on helping you set up your control process devices. This video will show you how to set up the analog outputs on a Siemens Hydro Ranger 200 HMI version. Navigate to the ULC set points table located on your control panel electrical drawings. Under the factory settings column, you'll find the parameters set up by the LMAC factory technician. Milliamp output range sets your analog output signal range. This should be set at 4 to 20 milliamps and should already be set up by your LMAC technician. Current output function assigns the application that will control your analog signal. Level will be used for level indication. Current output function should already be set by your LMAC technician. Milliamp output allocation will assign the level type used for each analog output. Point 1 will be upstream level, point 2 will be downstream level, and point 3 will be differential level. Milliamp output allocation should already be set up by your LMAC technician. The 4 milliamp and 20 milliamp set points marked with an asterisk will need to be set up by the startup technician. 4 milliamp is typically set at zero or the bottom of your measurement range. 20 milliamp is typically set to the maximum of your measurement range, which typically corresponds to what was previously set in the span parameter. The right arrow will bring up the menu screen. The right arrow also functions as the enter key. The number in the upper right corner is the parameter number that will change as you navigate the menu. This parameter number can be matched up to the parameter numbers outlined in the control drawings. Scroll down to setup and press enter. Scroll down to current output and press enter. Ensure that milliamp output selector has milliamp output 1 selected. Scroll down to the 4 milliamp set point and press enter. Modify as required and press enter. Scroll down to the 20 milliamp set point and press enter. Modify as required and press enter. If milliamp output 2 is required, navigate back to the output selector and change the milliamp output selector to milliamp output 2. Follow the same steps as previously outlined to change the 4 milliamp and 20 milliamp set points. We hope you have found this video helpful. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to stay up to date with any future content. For other technical videos, visit our YouTube channel.